copilot has revolutionized the way we search it's right above copilot chat option if you are using copilot inside teams you are not going to get it or at least not soon enough so go to this link this is always updated and it gets latest features instantly oh another thing to remember this video has nine audio languages click on the gear icon and select the one you want when you click on this search button you should see try the new copilot search make sure it is on now another problem you are not seeing this option at all what does that mean you are using free version of copilot even that search is very powerful but we will see it later now let's focus on this search i'm going to close this pane so we get more space i'm searching for the word training it has given me 1600 results and that happened quite fast and where are these results coming from that's clearly mentioned with numbers sharepoint outlook teams sharepoint includes one drive as well you can click on each one of them to filter further above the search results we have more filtering based on time and based on type this understands various types of files not just word excel powerpoint pdf many more types and for each of them the count is mentioned for any item which it finds this three dots or ellipses more items menu will give you further options if you directly click on the file name itself or item name it's going to open on browser by default in a separate tab when you look closely you'll notice that images and videos seem to be missing they are not missing they have been labeled in a different way whenever you see a web page that could be an image or video when you filter on that you will see this icon which means video and this icon is of course an image now the word training is not appearing in the file name of this image but let's click on it and see what happens this opens a web page and there you will see the name of the image or item that's a hyperlink click on it this press coverage of a session i had conducted for auckland chamber of commerce and the word training has appeared multiple times this search within an image requires character recognition or ocr there is no third party add in this is out of the box native feature of microsoft platform now let's see what happens with videos this icon means videos when i click on it it's going to open the video in a separate page click on the transcript and here i'm going to search for invoice and there we have it so that's how video search works now let's search on a more complex phrase copilot feedback analysis now nothing special happened it's just giving me standard results but here i'm going to change the phrase a little and look at the difference so it is giving me search results as expected but it understood that this could also be a prompt for copilot above the search results it's telling you that there are 540 things i have already analyzed them do you want to see the results think about it whenever we are searching for something finding that item is not the end point we are searching so that we use that search result to do something else and that's exactly what happened here so it's showing me workshop feedback user sentiment business value and it's also giving me some suggestions at the end it's asking me do you want a summary based on these findings now the moment i submit this is going to transition from search to chat and now we are in familiar copilot territory now let's try another search phrase it has overall found 16000 files but here from a copilot point of view it has looked at various types of communication it is now giving me a structured overview strategic themes key files email highlights chat threads and more this search is no longer simple keyword based search it understands the meaning the context the relationship and gives you much better outcomes the search page has additional useful things it shows you recommended files and for each file it shows you three prompts the prompts change depending on the file content and type 
One prompt is shown directly here and other two you can open from here. Below this, we have quick access, which are recently opened files. Under that, we have shared section, which shows you files which others have shared with you. And finally, you can also see files which you have marked as favorites. Any file or folder you can mark as favorite in OneDrive or Teams or SharePoint. And now, even on Windows Desktop File Explorer. You will notice that for Word and PowerPoint files, we have that sparkle kind of co-pilot icon. Just take the mouse cursor and hover on that icon and it will instantly create a summary for you. Next, let's look at search in the free version of Copilot. The look and feel is similar, but the Copilot direct features are missing. So let's search on the same word invoice. The search is still comprehensive, fast and powerful because it looks at so many different places. Files means OneDrive, Teams, SharePoint. Sites means intranet sites. News comes from intranet sites as well as view I engage. Messages includes Teams and emails. Images and videos are similar to what we saw earlier. And finally, Power BI reports. But there is more. Search inside Microsoft is completely customizable and extensible. Take an example of this simple phrase, SOP. It also is explaining what SOP means. This comes from customization. Here is another example. It's going to search for AI, but it's also explaining the acronym AI here. And this is my funny definition of what is AI. Then we have another one. I'm searching for Nitin Entro. So it is doing the traditional search, but there's a custom bookmark defined at organizational level, which points to my intro page. How is all this customization done? Well, you have to be an admin for that. Go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center, Settings, under that Search and Intelligence. Let's go to Answers. And here you have acronyms and bookmarks. And what is even more powerful is data sources. It's very important you go to the gallery, go through 100 plus items which are here. By integrating this data into native search, your users are going to increase their productivity significantly. So let's summarize. The search is really powerful, whether you're using the free version or the paid version. From now onwards, use this search as the default. Teach it to everyone around you. Give me your feedback. To continue to learn more, subscribe and click on the bell icon. So that's it for now. Take care. Bye-bye.